Well, a belated welcome to uh, Chesterfield, Alex, following the uh, enforced break. How have you found it uh, to come into a club and then not really be able to get involved? Yeah, obviously, like, I was delighted to sign and then, obviously, first day coming in and then, obviously, the, the club got COVID, so um, it was short-lived at first, but, obviously, um, I'm happy to be here now and, obviously, hopefully we can all stay COVID-free and um, kick on with the season. So no doubt you've uh, been having to get used to new teammates and the management online, which is quite unusual. Yeah, I've been in the this, in this Zoom calls during the week, like so just giving the lads a quick way you on a Zoom call, but obviously um, I had a good conversation with some of them today, like so um, obviously just filtered my way in. Like. So to give us a, a bit of background here, obviously from Liverpool and we're there at Anfield as a, a youngster, so uh, who were the, the players that you were playing with at that time? Yeah, so obviously... There was a uh, Connor Cody, um, John Flanagan, and Andre Wisdom. So they've they've all gone on to do well. To be fair, but obviously uh, there's that many players you want to want to be a pro footballer. So whatever level you play, like it's always it's always a good good thing to do, isn't it? And and who would have been particular influences on you at Liverpool? Who's my favourite player? As a as a on the coaching staff, who would have? Uh, been Dave, Dave Shannon was always one when I looked up to. Like he was good. Um, obviously, when I went to to do my scholarship. He left them, but I think if he stayed, like that would have helped me, help me maybe stay there longer. But um, he always taught me to play the right way, like so. And that was one guy I always liked, yeah. And you've moved around quite a bit. You've been to, to Scotland, and then of course latterly at uh, at Gloucester, where you linked up with with James Rowe. So what can you tell us about his management style? Yeah, actually, the the gaffer brought me into at Gloucester, um, and actually I done well for him, but actually. We were, we were flying in the league, to be fair. Um, I don't think many teams wanted the players at the time. We were, we were on a really good run, so uh, the gaffer put a lot of trust in me, and obviously I think I done I done well for him. So obviously for him to come to come in for me to come here, um, it was it was too too good to turn down really. How does that feel when you get a, a manager who's uh, you know had you before and, and and clearly wants to to sign you again? How much encouragement does that give you? That's what I'm saying. Obviously that's a, it's obviously a good thing. It gives gives confidence in me and obviously. It makes me like he's put a lot of faith in me, obviously. So, as I said, it was too good to turn down. And obviously, the, the way I got treated at Gloucester made it even a, an easier decision. Obviously, they, they tried to make me look like a bad, a bad guy there, to be honest. But um, I done everything everything right there. And obviously, when a, when a big club comes in for you, like Chesterfield, it's, it's, it's too good to turn down. And what can we expect to see from you as a player? Um, I'd like to say um, high energy, um, up and down. Um, Technical player, I'd say maybe. <laughs> um, I'd, I'd always give up um, 110. percent Obviously, you can't play well every game, but I'll always give it me all. I like, can, and I'll be up and down every game. Yeah.